am having issues. Uh, I found out today by just sitting and watching that that uh, Pleco here has been literally eating my catfish. Uh, I did. You don't. I thought it was big, but honestly, it's huge. It's so wide. It's. I'm pretty sure it's a. It's a female, so it just grew wider than longer, and yeah, I think I underestimated it because it's already been fighting it with it. That's why the head's so bony, because she keeps peeding off the slime coat on her. I don't know if she was cleaning her off. Sometimes they do work in unison like that, but look at that chunk missing out of her tail. Anytime her tail goes near, uh... Anytime they go to go to sleep, she's always near the tail, so I know it's her eating on her tail. So I gotta do something, and you see this too, there's a Miki down in that hole, a fire mouth cichlid, and uh, she's constantly waiting for it to come out. This has been her obsession lately, so, and there's plenty of shiners in here and all kinds of other things, so it's like, she could eat that, but no, she's waiting for the Miki to come out of the hole so she could eat a bigger fish. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed the tank, see if I can, I don't know if I should, where I could even put this catfish, because I do have a 75 gallon pond in the back room, but it has the iridescent shark in it, and I might have to move the iridescent shark back out here, which won't be good for any of these tanks, because the iridescent shark tends to bump into stuff with fish that are big or mean, and over here we got the giant garami who's been tank boss over here lately and uh, scared away the parrotfish which is usually all these fish are always out but now that the tank boss became the garami which they get very large too and the garami's destination was this pond but honestly she's already outgrew this 150 so I gotta get her into a 300 or bigger and then uh, someone actually wanted her a couple days ago I just got a message I just check my stuff kind of late but I do have a message somebody does want to adopt her but um they gotta have a massive tank because actually I'm getting ready to move this pleco I think I'm gonna try it over there with the bass and the pike because they're always fighting maybe something bigger and more of a threat like this giant pleco would uh stop their fighting a little bit either that or the peacock bass picks on her too, so honestly, the peacock bass should probably come over to the 90 gallon, and I'll take all these crazy decorations out, move all these nice fish over here to this, and then she could just have a bunch of nice fish around her, and if she has to, happens to eat them, she eats them. But honestly, yeah. Once, well, I think last time I had it like that, she didn't eat the fish. It was, well, when the lights turn out and fish go to sleep, she eats them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but no, I really want that Azul peacock bass to not die over there. They fight, maybe it's just a domination thing. And uh, cause that pike cichlid's a male and they're about the same size, same color. But one of them, the pike cichlid's old. This bass is only like, not even a year old. I think it's a, uh, might be a male. I don't know, kinda looks female-ish. Usually males get the head hump like this guy right here. He's even got a bump. And he's always fighting with the bass. And that's what brings out the pike. See, he nipped. Let's see if I can get the camera hold this still to focus here. And as he nips, out comes the pike. What are you guys fighting about? What are you guys fighting about? Huh? What's the matter? There's still a few count. There's still three convicts in here. They won't eat them. <laughs> they ate all the other ones, but they won't eat those three for some reason. I don't. Maybe ones. I think they're all males, so I think I'm good. No more breeding operations with the convicts. But yeah, uh, this tank lives for the Azul, so. If Tiger keeps acting up, he'll probably go in the pond. Tiger Pike is pretty big, and he could survive in the pond just fine. But let's go ahead and uh, throw some food in here and see if we could stop the... Uh, or actually, I want to see if the menos eat. Right now, I'm going to try some beta 
beta pellets. And then we'll go feed my uh, my record room beta pellets. See if they eat those. No. Shiners aren't even. Yeah, kind of. Kind of eating them? Maybe. I don't know. I can't really see from this angle with the minnows. Minnows are probably eating all underneath that bucket. Let's see if uh, Gyarados and all of them had a lot, a lot of uh, shrimp yesterday. So, <laughs> hey, what's up? Show me your big belly. Yeah, so he don't need much. Actually, none of these guys really need fed. So, I'll skip that tank. But yeah, here comes the Pleco to steal some food. Maybe the Pleco needs, like, uh, some of the pond food. Let's see if she goes for the tail, though. That's what I was trying to catch on camera here. See, I want to see her going for that tail. Because when I do, I want to move her to the other pond. She's coming up for food. She sometimes does. She's swarming around to get the tail. I don't know. She better leave my red tail alone. That's all I gotta say. Either way, today I'm, I'm moving her because I can't. I don't like that big chunk missing on my baby's tail. I waste a lot of money on medicines every time that happens. Um, and I actually, this red tail is like a. She's not coming up for hand feedings like she normally does. Baby girl! Ow, ow. Usually a couple knocks and she's up here. And after a while, if she ignores me, the bass will come. Nope. Y'all are making me a liar? Alright. Yeah, that's the update on the big girl.